Hey Plant Fam! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is part of my jungle. I'm sitting in front of my Hoya cabinet. And if you're not new here, thank you for coming back. So today I have some plant mail. And it's not a ton of plant mail, but I wanted to share it with you anyway. So I will definitely make it a quick one. I'm going to start with this small box first. This one came from Black Cat Gardener Shop. You guys know I have been buying from her for the longest time. I have more stuff coming from her. Sorry, my nose is like so stuffy right now. Um, I have another thing coming from her next week. But I wanted to show you <laughs> the cute little baby cuttings that I did snag from her recently. So, really cute packaging. She always packages things well. I've been buying plants from her for like three years now. And you should definitely go and check her out. She is Black Cat Gardener Shop on Instagram. All one word right there at the bottom. Cute, cute, cute. Um, I thought there was a Hoya in here. There's supposed to be a Hoya. There's no Hoya. Anyway, that's fine. <laughs> She's sending me more mail next week. Anyway, this is the variegated philodendron heterisium. So variegated Hartley philodendron. Cute little top cutting here that I'm definitely going to be adding to my mother plant which also came from her um yeah not my Hoya. okay that's fine there's only one plant in there never mind and then there's only one plant in here as well this one is coming from texas so that one came from florida this one is coming from texas from cultivar and <laughs> ups did me dirty um, this was supposed to be delivered yesterday, and I was waiting, waiting, waiting. It was going to be delivered by 7 p.m. 7 p.m. rolls around. I check the tracking to see if it was delivered. Nothing. Like a half an hour, 45 minutes later, maybe I get an email saying that my package will be available for pickup tomorrow. And I was like, because there was nobody there to sign for it is what it said. And I was like, uh, no, I was here you weren't here. I not I didn't get any notification on my phone that anybody was at the door. So I'm a little bit annoyed with UPS for that because I had to go and pick this up. Went like literally down the block. Like I could have walked there. It's so close. Like you couldn't have just delivered my package UPS. So now I'm just like, I don't know if I want to order I'm like hesitant to order from people that ship with UPS, especially if it's like a new, a new seller that I'm shopping with. I just, I just, I don't know. I don't know. And I've gotten mail from them before, so I really don't know what happened. Um, I don't know why it required a signature. I thought that was weird. I don't know if that was just a glitch, um, but I had to sign for it when I picked it up. But also literally nobody, nobody tried to get in my building. So I was just a little bit irritated that I had to go and pick it up instead of them just delivering it. If it was going to be late and they were going to deliver it a day late, like fine. Why'd you got to lie and say that I wasn't here to sign for it? Okay. So we are taped down to the inside of the box. I just don't want to wait another day. They would have delivered it, but it was literally right there. So we do have some like instructions on what to do with your plant and my invoice. I did this. I did get this one off of Plant Story, um, but they do Instagram sales too. So get this out of here. I'm pretty excited about this one. This is also a plant that I already have. But it's one of my favorites. Look at how cute that is. And, ooh, I can see it in the corner. The genetics on this one were just 
so juicy you guys it was so good it's so good that i couldn't say no and i previously have gotten cuttings of variegated um bipenifolium and variegated adansonii from them and they came really healthy and they've been really happy so i felt good about spending the money on this one okay i gotta get it out look at how well they packaged it it's like i know the lighting is weird i'm sorry it's like in there flat and like taped down um which is really smart but i am gonna like reuse all of this packaging so i'm just gonna be gentle not to rip it I'm very impressed with this packaging. This is a really smart way to go about it if you're not gonna use floof. Oh! <sighs> Her leaf got a little bented, but that's okay. Um, wow. Look at the variegation on this. So there was like a little bit of the leaf that got removed there, but we didn't buy it. For this leaf i mean this is a beautiful leaf we bought it for the potential and the variegation so let me move this this is the monstera aurea and just look at that i'll turn you guys around and show you because the lighting is like kind of weird it's coming like down on me from over here it is a, it is kind of an odd situation but I like I like sitting here and doing things so let me know in the comments below if you like sitting here in front of my Hoya cabinet with me for some more casual um unboxings and things like that I want to get this out so I can show you guys what it looks like I think it might have been a little bit of a fungus net get out of here there might have been a little bit of like an aerial root if i remember correctly oh ooh, ooh, look at you so not rooted but we do have an aerial root which is how can you stop fungus now please i don't even know where you came from um which is how i've acquired my other aurea cutting so actually let me show you really quick so here is my aurea this is the half that i imported these three leaves here so these were imported um and then this one back here i actually got from black cat gardener shop as a mid cut um and i just thought the variegation on here was really pretty so this one is definitely different it has different variegation um but it's comparable and this is literally exactly how this one looked when i got it um this one i had to reroute completely but i have not had a hard time doing that at all look at those roots <laughs> what look at them um this one is like over here on this side but that was uh, grown from a mid cut. This is a top and it wasn't a cutting. It was an established plant, but you know, with imports you have to reroute and it is working on another one for me here. I don't know if you guys can see, but it looks like totally yellow. So that's troubling. Hopefully there's some green on there, but it looks like that leaf is going to be very, very yellow. Maybe it'll be a half moon. So, I was confident enough to snag this one for its lovely, lovely genetics. And I'm going to put it in water for like maybe a week or two. And then I'm going to transfer it over to a mossy perlite mix, which is the same thing that I did with these. Honestly, this one doesn't even need, I'm just going to rehydrate it essentially in water. And then uh, I wish I could put it in here with this one, but. Um, I'm probably just going to grow this one separately since I already like kind of potted this one up. And then when it does come time to like properly pot this one in soil, maybe we could put all three together. But I kind of like the idea of knowing like they came from different places. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But those are my Monstera Oreo. So I guess now I technically have three. I don't know. Does that one count as one? It is two separate plants. 
but this one definitely needs to be rehydrated but otherwise it did ship very very nicely um i will leave their information linked down below for you to go and check out cultivar as well as black cat gardener shop where i got this cute little variegated um heterosium this thing is so easy going easy growing this one's not rooted uh, usually i could pull it right out but i don't want to damage it um and you give it some bright light and the variegation just goes nuts on this thing so that is it for this video i really really appreciate you guys for being here i hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me for this little quickie and i will take any excuse to show you my monstera aurea because i love it it's literally my favorite plant so if you enjoyed hanging out with me today you should give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me <laughs> there's a join button down there if you want to be part of the official plant bam get yourself some perky perks if not there's a super thanks button if you want to super thanks me everything is appreciated you guys know i cannot do this without you um i love you so so very much i hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are out there in the world uh don't forget to spread kindness you might be the person that makes somebody's day better and um don't forget to drink your water stay hydrated usually we don't drink enough water anyway i love you guys and i will see you in the next one bye